A Bulgarian woman has been placed on the FBI's top 10 most wanted list for allegedly running a cryptocurrency scam. Ruja Ignatova, who became known as the Missing Crypto Queen, has been accused of defrauding victims out of more than $4 billion. One coin has been described as one of the largest Ponzi schemes in history. Well, I'm joined now by Georgia Cat, who is the producer of the BBC podcast, The Missing Crypto Queen, joining us now from London. Thanks for your time. Um, just, just tell us what does it mean, uh, being placed on the FBI's top 10 most wanted list? Um, I mean, I think this is like really significant. We've been on this story since 2018. And I'd say in that time, this is one of the most significant developments. I mean, there's a $100,000 reward out for information on her. And I think what it means is that, well, firstly, that they're taking this seriously. They understand the scale of this scam, which wasn't the case for a long time. And also that they do think that there is information that public might have that could lead to her capture, which, yeah, is really interesting. And just explain what is she accused of? So she is accused of, she's facing eight um, charges related to fraud and money laundering. Um, she kind of burst on the scene in 2014 with this cryptocurrency that promised to kind of revolutionize finance. It was gonna be like Bitcoin, bigger than Bitcoin, more accessible than Bitcoin. And it was all a scam. People were putting in money into this, um, huge amounts of money. I mean, we think up to $4 billion, at least between 2014 and March, 2017, possibly a lot more. And they were really putting their money in and expecting it to go up like in value, which is what it was saying when they looked online, but their money had just gone, their money had gone. And so she has gone with a lot of money as well. So wherever she is, she's got money. Where do people think she might be? And, and you know, what about all these sort of allegations that she's managed to heavily disguise herself and change her appearance? Yeah, I mean, we heard that one, first of all, you know, a couple of years ago, and we almost didn't believe it. Um, but, you know, the FBI is saying it now as well. And you know, she has definitely had plastic surgery. Um, how much? We don't know. I mean, we have been hunting for her as part of this podcast um, for years, and it's taken us really all over the world. And um, we've heard rumours um, that she could be in Russia, could be in Dubai, could be on a yacht. Um, but all I want to say now is that we are still looking and we have got some quite good leads that we are exploring at the moment. So. And this story has got a lot of public interest, hasn't it? It's sort of captured people's imagination. Why do you think that is? Well, I think um, she tapped into something so clever in a way. I mean, she was riding off this hype of cryptocurrency at exactly the time that had burst onto the scene. You know, this idea of kind of tech utopianism, I think, as well, and people's fear of missing out. I mean, she just tapped into this. And she. I think the scale of how much she managed to pull it off and pull, you know, not just kind of investors, but kind of institutions as well. And, you know, I think just the sophistication of it, but also it's a really simple scam, right? It's a scam that's as old as time in a way, um, this kind of emperor's new clothes. But yeah, I think it just really taps into so many things of our time, right? And regulatory failures as well. I mean, she was able to do this for a long time before um, kind of getting away with it. Well, uh, I know your podcast is online, uh, worth a listen, I'm told. Thanks very much indeed for joining us to talk, talk us through the latest. Thank you.